Spaghetti squash is one of my favorites. You're seeing it now at the farmer's markets and in the grocery stores. And actually it's a squash that you can usually find year round, but right now it's in season around here. And the reason it's called spaghetti squash is because once it's cooked, the flesh pulls apart like long strands of spaghetti pasta. And it's so fun to eat and it's really tasty too. So. I'm gonna show you how I like to prepare spaghetti squash. Once it's cooked, your imagination will help you develop something wonderful to eat because you can add all kinds of ingredients to it and top it with your favorite sauces. So today, to start with, I just like to take my spaghetti squash and I cut off a little bit that long stem and then take a really nice sharp knife, the heaviest knife you have because this is a really hard skin. So it takes some muscle, but I cut it in half lengthwise. And then once you have it open, you'll see that it's kind of stringy and full of seeds, just like when you're cleaning out a pumpkin for carving. So I like to just use a spoon and scrape out the seeds and all that stringy stuff that's inside. Once it's scraped out, I like to take a little bit of olive oil and just brush it around the edges and just a little bit on the inside too. And then put it cut side down on a baking sheet that's been covered with parchment paper or aluminum foil. And at that point, I can put it into the oven, 350 degrees, just for about 20 or 30 minutes. When you cut it in half, it doesn't take very long to cook. And then I'm just going to take a knife and start pulling apart these nice strands of spaghetti. Can you see how that just looks like spaghetti? And once you've got it all fluffed up, just place it right into your serving dish. Look at those nice, ooh, this is kind of hot. I'm just gonna scrape out a few more. There we go. And there you've got spaghetti squash. You can eat it just like this if you want. Put some marinara sauce over it and maybe your favorite meatballs. And you've got a delicious meal in no time flat. But today, I'm going to drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil. I like to keep it simple. And then I'm going to put some broken walnuts into it. And these I toasted just a little bit so they have that nice toasty flavor. And then I minced up some fresh herbs. And I'm gonna sprinkle, this is just some mixed fresh herbs. I'm gonna sprinkle those right over the top. And a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Spaghetti squash is your friend. You're going to love it. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.